Welcome to Lecture Online, and here we have a second example of how to express concentrations. In this case, we're going to look at preparing, a three, li preparing three liters of a 2% weight in volume sal saline solution. That, that means that we want the weight compared to the volume to be a 2% ratio. Now, of course, when we compare weight to volume, weight, usually we talk about mass, is expressed in grams, and volume is expressed in milliliters or liters. So when you have grams and liters, those units don't match. So when we, they don't cancel out, and so it's kind of weird to think about 2% being a ratio of grams to milliliters. But that's what the definition is. We have to understand that we're looking for a 2% ratio between the weight and the volume when the weight is expressed in grams and the volume expressed in milliliters. So you just have to kind of ignore the units and just look at the ratio. So we're looking for that unknown quantity. How many grams to make 100 milliliters to get 2%? And of course, 2 divided by 100 is 2%. So we understand that the number up there would have to be a 2. Now, if you don't see that right away, not a problem, because what we simply do is we can simply write it like this, that the number of grams of the solute, which is the numerator right there, of the solute, that equals the percent multiplied by the number of milliliters. So that is equal to the 2% times the number of milliliters. And of course, the milliliters, I'll put that in parentheses because we really just want to put the number down and we don't want to put milliliters down. And we have to realize that the end result will be grams. And so this is equal to 2% times the number of milliliters. And so we use the 100 as the standard. That will then be grams. And of course, that's equal to 2 grams. So that requires 2 grams. If you want to have a 2% weight in volume solution of any kind, in this case it's a saline solution, we want to just simply say, okay, if it's 2%, we need 2 grams for 100 milliliters. If it's 3%, we need 3 grams for 100 milliliters. 5%, we need 5 grams for 100 milliliters, and so forth. So that's pretty straightforward. But now, how do you convert that into a solution that, that is 3 liters, not 100 milliliters? Now we need to do a ratio. So we can say that 3 liters to 100 milliliters must be the same ratio as the number of grams that we need to make that saline solution divided by uh, the number of grams that we have, which is 2 grams right there. So to make a 2% solution, we need 2 grams. To make a 3 liter solution, how many more times, how many more grams do we need? And it's the ratio. How much bigger is 3 liters compared to 100 milliliters? That's how many more grams we're going to need to make that 2% solution. And so what we can do here is simply multiply this over there. So we have a cross multiplication. We'll move the 2 grams up here. And so we end up with 3 liters times 2 grams divided by 100 milliliters. That is equal to the number of grams that we're looking for to make 3 liters of that solution, that 2% solution. Now, of course, we can divide liters by milliliters. We have to realize that uh, liters can be converted to milliliters, which is 3,000. We can do it that way. So this is equal to 3,000 milliliters because 1 liter is 1,000 milliliters times 2 grams divided by 100 milliliters. And that is equal to, now notice that this is a ratio of 30 to 1, because these two zeros cancel out those two zeros. So 30 times 2 is 60 grams, which means we need 60 grams of the salt added to the solution to make up 3 liters of the solution. Now, again, how do you prepare that? You don't take 3 liters of water and add 60 grams of salt to it. You take 60 grams of salt and you keep adding water to it until the solution, after it's dissolved, after the salt is dissolved, has reached a volume of 3 liters. That's how you properly prepare it. But that's how you find the concentration when we talk about weight in volume concentration, not weight in weight concentration. All right, that's how we do that.